Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here in Fishburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Barnes. And I'm Dave Madela, and today we crown a new king. Two former King of the Palace champions going at it. Bill Clough facing the number one seed, Steve Pazan. This is gonna be a spectacular match. And now, let's go crown a king. Up now, the number one seed, former King of the Palace champion, Steve Pazan, with a qualifying score of 481, bowling out of Mohegan Bowl and Webster Mass with an average of a 116. Our first on alley three, former King of the Palace champion, Steve Pazan. Now he knows about the pressures. Here we go, first ball, drops eight, leaves the five seven. This is for the king of the palace. All this, the marbles right here. This is going to be a great match. This is, this is what we're here for. The bowlers are after it. Ooh. Ooh that, oh, no, 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 look at wow. this. What a way to open up the opening box, huh, guys? Look at that replay. Ball. The ball comes back and takes out the five. Perfectly legal. Made contact before. Went ricocheting around. Steve's got those radio control balls. Yeah, Steve just wiped <laughs> his feet. Oh, what a way to open up the match. A little wide, but he's all another. No, oh, I thought for a minute it was going to take out the head pin. The yep. one, the seven, the eight, some wood. What do you think, Dennis? David? Head pin to the left. Yep. There it goes. Oh! Wow. Hit it right where I wanted to hit it. The wood just uh, didn't cooperate with him. Well, if he gets this nine pin down, gets the 10 box, gets 20, nothing wrong with 27 for two, Dennis. I'll take that every time. That's a 135 game if he matches box for box for box. Two ten. Steve bowling out of uh, Mohegan Bowl in Webster Mass. Oh, it destroyed that one. The ball came back again. That's Up now, the number three seed, Phil Clough, with a qualifying score of 426, with an average of a 111, bowling out of bogey lane. Phil Clough up. Phil likes to strike too, and he hates to destroy the eagle. Defeated last week on uh, Jeff Walsh, yeah, who made his first bad. appearance on the King of the Palace. Oh, found the head pin. Not too bad for Jeff, you know, first time in qualifying and making the show in the first shot. Oh boy, this is tough. Very close match, there was only five pins. Yeah. Yep. Good this, candle pin bowling. This is going to be a slice and dice right here. Nothing like it. Candle pin bowling at its best. A yeah. little full. And he, best he can hope for here is a 10 box open up, going after the 10 pin, the corner of the building shot. 10 pin left by itself, Tough all the up. seven. Nice oh, pick up. Rolling. I think he nice took 10. a little bit off that one, Dennis. You were right. Yep. Yep. Reaction to the speed of the ball, a little bit less. Yeah, you got to know when to take a little off yep. it, yep. Yep. how to take it off. Mr. Phil Cluck doing this for 52 years. Oh. Four, five, seven. Oh. No, I take uh, that back. Five eight seven. Five eight seven. Where are you going with it? Split them. Slice it. Slice it. Slice it. Go on the yeah, right side of that. Five. Oh, yeah. Almost. Slice the five on the right. Now he's got the seven pin up the other corner of the building. Shot <laughs> back the back corner of the buildings. Well, let's see if he can't demo the building. Oh yeah, there it is. Well, hitting very very important. Every pin counts. You saw it last seven. week. Yo. Know, Phil beat Jeff Walsh by five pins, yeah. and I bet you Jeff Walsh could go through his score and, and his ball and see where he could have picked up those five pins. Very important, very, very important part of ball, candle pin ball, pinning. Oh, found the head pin, and there Drops it is. Drops a bomb. The no last doubt one about to fall it. was the five pin. I think we got a rocket ball going here, guys. Yeah. He's got a good arm on him. Have we got a one second ball? You think the ball's going 41 miles an hour? I'm going to tell you what, right now. Yeah. I am so looking forward to this match because we have two former King of the Palace that's, champions that, going that, at it. That's the first time, too. First, first time. time. Yeah, first time in the end. We'll go, have to go back to the. Uh, the record books, but I'm quite sure that's what it is. Oh, what a bid. First time. Now, there he is. He takes out the one, the three, and the eight, but the, the six stays up. Why? Candle pin bowling. 
Unfortunately, it happens. But he got the 10. 10. 56 to 4, Dennis? Yes. Yeah. With a very good start. Excellent start. Forces Phil Clough to get two spins. All strikes in combination with a couple of marks to. We've seen it the last couple of weeks. Phil we can just turn it on and come right back. Oh, that, there it is. There's the Dennis. five pins, the last Dennis, one. The you draw. call it. There you Dennis, go. You sat right there next to me. You called it. It's like he flips a switch. Yep. Puts it in overdrive. I'm that's why. I, that's why he is the cluffinator. I don't know what, what it is, but he does it. It's that consistent. Here it goes again. There Look at this. Is it's got, got a double. double. Oh. Seven pin. Last one standing. Get out of there, Wood. Get out of there. Get out of there. See what happens. There you go. There you go. It's good. Okay. Ah, uh, this might not be a pretty shot. That mm -hmm. looks like that seven pin is covered up by that piece of dead yeah, wood. He's probably gonna try and cap that. Yep. There it is. Oh. oh wow. The force was not with Phil. Right around it. Good bid on it, though. Sometimes it's an impossibility. You never know what's going to happen. happen. Combined, these wall. two have been bowling for 89 years combined. Yeah. He wanted that spare. He wanted, needed, it didn't happen. you got to forget about it, Dennis. you, you got to move on. Yep. David, you just got to forget about it. Yep, this that, is for the king of the palace. Was, you, can't, you can't dwell on every ball. After four, Phil Clough at 53, Steve Pizan at 56. Oh, on the head pin. Oh, look at this. Man. <laughs> this is an ugly leave. How can you hit the pocket? The Seven, one, three, five, and, six, and, and ten left on the deck. Four, the Five, six, seven. How can you leave this? You're going to have to try to cut the two. Oof. Cut the six. He tried it. Oh, now he's left with the five, seven. For a Pick up a single. Nine. Walk away with a nine if you can. I don't understand it. I, I, I. Oh, the injustice of a can open ball. That's yeah, tough. Like, you throw the ball, like I say numerous times. Yeah. Throw the ball, hit your object, and get penalized. A short memory, move on. Yeah. Steve has a 116 average. His high single is a 212. Off to the left, off to the right with that ball. Okay, the one, the two, the seven. Go right between the one and the two, and should take out the seven. Let's yeah, see what happens. High, high single, 212, high trip, 460. Great bowling. Oh, threw that one away. He knew it. As soon as Dennis it's frustrating. As soon as he left his hand, he knew he missed. Leaving the finger of God. Yeah, you can usually tell if you're if you're off when you let it go. Yep. Do we have a nine box yet? No, this one. No, no but the, all the single pins have been made for ten boxes. Okay, Phil Clough up. The Cloughinator. He's ready. Oh, a little extra time here, David. For Phil. Championship oh, match. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to rush around. Oh, no. <laughs> Should I say it? How can I say it? What's left? The baby split. Diaper rash. Oh, he wants the spare. He wants the baby split. Oh, oh capped that one piece of wood. He was off just a little bit. Back to back spares. He thought he had. Yeah. Thought but he had that seven on for the spare and the strike. And there isn't there isn't much Phil will miss. Oh, oh very he leaves a nine point. box. Truly a game of inches. You know, inch here, inch there, and. Can make a shot go or not go. I'm gonna leave that one. I, I, I set you up far and you didn't. Go. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> nice ball. Oh, look at this. this! Come on, fall down. Now, Davis, he's buried three balls already out of six, mm -hmm. and he's left these ungodly. Spawn, Steve puts on the same thing. So, that even, I guess, it even though, but, even though, you know, yeah. at least you're in the, the head pin of the pocket. Sooner or later, they got to fall. Yeah, it's they can't, get, they, they yep, can't ruin your whole life for the whole. Four ten left. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, threw that one right yeah. down the middle. And there's Wide nothing right. there. Wide right. Okay. Nothing but the abyss on that one. Well, this is for the King of the Pals Championship. That's all there is to it. Got some pins for it. We got yep. nine. Okay. What do we got, Dennis? After six? After six, it's Phil at 71 and Steve at 75. Do you think that uh, Steve was on a little bit faster than he was in the qualifying rounds? Uh, no. Steve is one of those people that I've, I've known Steve for a while and talking with Steve. He'll throw that ball the same way no matter what. Mm -hmm. He can't take anything off because once he takes it off, he can't control it. Cool. Where are you going here, Dennis? Right after the two? Splitting it. Oh, it go. No! Wow. Tried to cut that over. That was, an, that, oh. that was a tough cut. He almost made it. Nice bid. Oh, my goodness. Almost. Almost. No, he Picks up the that. 10. He nailed that 10. He throws that ball hard. One uh, of the hardest people I've seen throw that ball in a long time. 
He's a rocket thrower. A cannon thrower. A rocket thrower. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh look at this. Look at this. Oh, look man. at this. Not bad for the ocean, huh? <laughs> Through the ball in the ocean, made contact with the six pin into the ten, a backspin helicopter, and he's left the three pin it for must, a spare. It must be the juice lanes. <laughs> Sun Kissed is coming back again. Yeah. We're going to have to get the sport out. It's good. It's good. Okay. There's a rule, people, been out there viewing land at the piece of wood. Stoppage and play. Uh, nice nice pickup. Stoppage and play for um, uh, checking of the wood. Cannot exceed. It's like checking the oil. Wow, the line moved. The line is 22 inches in front of the head pin. And if it goes over that line and makes any contact with it, you got to remove it. This yeah. message brought to you by oh, Steve Bronchuk. The Encyclopedia of Overknowledge. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. David, here we got the 510. What is it called? The Woolworth. The Woolworth. Uh, they closed down. They went bankrupt. Oh. Oh, so close. Yep. Phil didn't find any deals at the Woolworths. The 5 and 10. Same ball again. Maybe he's looking for it. There nice he goes. 10. Maybe he's, maybe maybe he's looking right for a little bit of penny candy. One inch off. All he yep. had to do was contact that five, and he had it. Yep. And I thought he thought he had it. It looked like it just broke away at the last second. His expression. <coughs> All right, he's coming a big box here. He's got to match this spare. Nice ball. And he's left the five, eight, nine triangle. Yep, piece of wood up, uh, rested up against the right of the five. It's going to be difficult. Nah, sweep the leg. And sweep the leg, Johnny. Too high on that one. Oh, yeah. We're going to play a little lower to Swept grab the that leg and the nine pin. pin just stayed up. <laughs> the triangle one. Very difficult shot. Then he's picked up the 10. ten. After eight, it's Phil Clough at 91 and Steve is on at 95 plus a ball. Uh, Phil's a little disappointed in that. He thought he had it. He's yep. shaking his head. He's shaking his head. Where are the justices, the bowling gods? Who knows? Oh, little. Well, look at this. Look at this. Little weak in the pocket and he's left. A 7-10 with a whole one, two, bunch three, of four, wood on the of wood. Nothing wrong with an 8 field, Dennis. No, I'll take a spare. Where are you going here? Go to the altar, spraying and praying, yeah. kid. Don't forget to pray. Yep. Oh, he got, he got it. it. He got it. Back-to-back -back spares are really going to put the pressure on Phil. I wonder if we have any church activists angry at us for saying spraying and praying. <laughs> no. Right, we're promoting praying. Promoting no, praying. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Go to church, yeah. Yep. Go to church on Sunday, then come down here. Volvo, the king of the palace, April 27th. Now we got a six drop on the spear. He's got to drill it. He's got to drill that front wood right into the three pin. Let's see what happens. Nice oh, pick yeah. up. Steve's yes. starting to find oh, his Three in a now. row, and he's got a tricky. Three marks in a row. Any combinations of three marks of spares and strikes and came up and bowling, but are known as a turkey. Steve's been itching since he lost the last time of his King of the Palace oh, he crown. He's it. been dying to get back here he to get his it. crown back. No, he thought he pulled well enough to win. He just didn't drop. Oh, oh wow. Look at this. Look at that. Talking Good about four. throwing it away. It's a good what? place to leave it. Yeah. Two, five, six. Wow. Shake it off. How does that happen? How does that one happen? That's a that's an pretty pretty impressive 132. The one five six. Excuse me. The two five six. Boy, that's weird. Yep. It happens. Well, they got the three marks in their own forces. No cluff. The cluffinator. The deliver. What we, oh, look at Phil, this. Phil's going to need to do some marking. Oh, it quick. fell. It fell. He got the break. Good. Very difficult to make parallel pins, even if you got the wood. He wants the spears. Better be careful with this. Yeah. Oh! oh he, <laughs> not where he wanted to oh, hit it. There is, there, David Dennis, there is a bowling guard. There are some bowling guards in it's this game. going to tell Phil to wipe his feet on that one? Or? Phil, you better go wipe your feet on that one. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You got lucky. Oh, nice right. ball. Found the head pin. Look at He's this. got a two pin drop. Oh, this is getting good. This is getting good. Let's see. Box to box. Steve oh, is up ten pins. pins. Yeah, he's going to have to spare this one out and uh, drop a drop a bomb on it to bring it close. Oh, tough, tough, oh. tough. Steve just breathed a sigh of relief on that one. He had two the the dreaded double two pin at Dennis. You drop one out. How yeah. does it happen? How does it only take one pin out? What do we got? Oh, he's upset.
Bill Clough oh, yeah. at 119. Steve Pazan at 132. Steve's got a 13 pin lead going into the second string. Battle of the King of the Palace from two former King of the Palace champions. Oh, throwing the other. Oh, Steve, like Steve in season one, Phil, past couple months ago. And here's an interesting fact. Phil only left two pins standing that whole string, and Steve only left one. Wow. The rest are all tens and spears and marks. Strikes. Found the head pin open up. for that. Left the five pin. Nice way to open this, up. Hope he gets the spear. He's got the piece of wood frozen to the back. Well, this is why it's killing and bowling. I mean, you know, F F Phil, uh, oh, wow. Phil had some bad luck that the last two boxes, and he just shook it off and opened back up with the spare. You have to do that in this game. No, he wanted that two pin. But that happens. But he came back with the spit. Oh, yeah, you got to shake it off. Wait a minute, we got a little late in minute action. Five yeah. pins staying. Oh. This is a perfect setup right here. Oh, oh no, now it's rolling back. No, it's still a perfect setup. If this wood stays fair. No. Well, you know what? I actually might try going after this. I might try redlining that piece of wood. Now we got another Woolworth split. No. Oh, Should have listened to me, Phil. Redline it. Too bad. Might have gone. Boy, he wanted to open up a two spares. Left the five really pin all alone. Push, right? And just, oh, just missed, missed it. Just missed. All right, here it is. All right, Steve Fazant. This is the final up. round. Final round for the king of the palace. Who's going to win? Who's going to put the crown on? Who will be walking down Cleghorn Street, Kimball Street, River Street? Be the person that's well-deserved. With a flak jacket. Yeah. I'm the king of the palace. I'm the king of the palace winner. Oh, look oh, at this. Wreck the rack on that one. Oh, is he on? There was no last minute oh, pin God. drops. No five pin last minute drops. That was just the oh, Acme plunger. He wanted that. Left nothing on the deck, man. It just exploded. The double. No, wide left. Still chewing. One, seven, eight, ten. Some wood. Hilo Jack with a joker. No, you had a high-low jack with the queen, a high-low jack with an ace, and now we have a high-low jack with a joker. Now, how'd you come up with the joker this time? Uh, you the know, last that, time it was a queen. The, the eight pin in the back. New palace oh. terminology. Now eight we pin. got the high-low jack. Well, you know, you know the one time we had the, the high-low jack with the two pin, that would be the queen. Then we had the high-low jack with the three pin, that would be the ace. And then you have the high-low jack with the eight or nine, that would be high-low jack with the... What? Joker. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Whatever. Put a glossary of the terms on the Facebook page. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leaves the finger of God. Phil's starting to close that lead a little bit. Yeah. He's got a lot of pins to make up. You know, box by box, Phil can try to come back. Pressure's getting on now. Oh, no, why do I saw that? Oh, oh wait. No. Last minute action, uh, resting up against the head pin. Left six pins on the right side, some wood, throws a strike ball, he's got the spare. Hey, that, that wood's going to stop it from hitting a five pin. Yeah, that's not a, a favorable leave right there. Five pin drops, left five to ten. Pitches, yeah. Nice bid. And as always, we encourage everyone to come out, try the King of the Palace. Next yep. one is April 27th at 4 p.m. Sunday. New Palace Lane, 78 Dana Street, Fitchburg, Mass. Yep, the best turnout that we had for this turnout so far. We had some women involved in the turnout, in the in the in the qualifying round. We've had some new faces that came out. You know, some of the pro great the feeling. pro bowlers came down. Great, great feeling. You know, it's nice to know that what we're doing is actually being recognized by uh, by some and. You know, coming out and giving it a shot. I don't know how many people of the pros actually watch the show or enjoy the show, or um, but I know oh. that the ones that came out, you know, just to name a few, Nick Norcross came down and Mark Ritchie, Mark Ritchie came down, and Rich Jeff, Kochi, Rich Kochi, Jeff Walsh, um, Dave Hodge. Well, you know, Peter Crawford has come down and tried it before, you know. Um, Kevin Padgington's always there. Kevin Padge. Evan, Evan Mazzataro. Yeah. E Evan's done it. And Dennis Nuzzo's done it. Oh, there it is. Dennis, what is it? Bert Kaliri. Dennis has actually been on the show, on TV. On TV, right. And now I got the uh, broadcasting bug in me, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm on this side of the camera. Oh. I guess he couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> we'll guide them through it, David. Well, I don't know. We are. What, 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 what do you like more, hearing your voice or seeing your face on TV? It's a toss-up. My kids love to see me on TV. They always ask. They hear my voice on the TV. They wonder why I'm not on TV. <laughs> you know? So it's kind of a toss-up. So, you, so what do you tell the kids? Like, uh, you, you're the Jim Ross. I, I just, yeah, I'm the Jim Ross. <laughs> <laughs> New pass. You're the Jim Ross. Or you're the king. I'll, I'll let you be the king. How about that one? <laughs> Oh look, at this. oh, look at this. Another ugly mess. Four, seven, and the six with some wood. Uh, not, which wood you going to hit? Which wood you going to hit? No, this is a... This is a Front wood into the... Yeah, yeah. Back wood. Right, there. right there. Just like that. Oh, almost. Too yeah. bad. My, nice bid. Two marks out of first eight well, boxes. I'm going to tell you what, though. Steve's got to be careful. You don't want to leave the door open for Phil. Oh, the top. We've Probably seen the field. We've seen the field chew people up and spin them out. Well, it's down to six. Box to box. Oh. Yeah, Steve's down uh, up six pins yep. right now. He pulls on up by six with six to go, and his full club. Jeff Walsh. Jeff Walsh left the door open and Phil knocked it down and yes. took Look him out. Look at this. I agree with you, Phil. I'd shake my head too. But what does a man have to do to get a favorable lead? And before he that, he carries the one three pocket and he leads the seven ten. Just keep plugging. That's all you can do. Yep. Now he's waiting for the wood. This which one are you gonna play? I gotta spray and pray. Though. I gotta cap it. Pretty. I don't know. You gotta hit that front one and get some action oh, going. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Capped it. That was all. Uh, Not where you cool. wanted to put. A little disappointed, Phil is. I'd be a little disappointed too. No, he would There you go. Go for the pin. Yep. Yeah. Go for the pin. <coughs> okay. Box number six. Lane number four. It's for the king of the palace. It is all the marbles, marbles, man. Here it is. First match right now. It's coming down to the nitty gritty here at the Pal New Palace Lanes. Wow. He's left the big five. Wow. Very disappointed. The big five leave. Yeah, but this is a pretty makeable shot. Yeah, he wants to play that uh, two, yep. that three pin far right. Yeah. Would spin it over. He almost want to split them. Just like this. Come on. Wow, the other piece of he almost that he would have had that if the other piece of wood didn't come around and lock it in. Oh, he wanted that. Yeah. What are you gonna do, Dennis? Go Stand right up and bowling. Go yeah. right at it. It was a nice pit. Uh, nice pitch. Nice pitch. Know, he's little emphasis on well, the, on the last you what, ball. He wanted I'm it. Telling you what, Steve better do some uh, hopping because right now Phil's starting to catch up, and he's only got what a six-pin lead. Six-pin lead, box uh, box. He's got a chance here to open it up. Oh, wide through that one, wide left. This is the pressure. Let's see if Steve can't put his money where his mouth is. He's been bugging me all the time. He said he's going to come back to his title. This is what he wants. Let's see if he can't do it. Oh, that was, yeah, he knew it. Move the wrong. This is the king of the palace, kid. Put your big boy pants on and go get it if you want it. Very important four pins here. Oh, Dennis. Wow. Had four hey, pins up. Hey, winter's Ooh. almost over, man. Paul Bunyan's got to retire. Chopping some wood on that one. My goodness. Yeah, he's got to throw a bomb here to get some yeah, momentum he's, yeah. going. Yeah. It makes you feel better when you do that. Oh, tough. Oh, now he's left the... That's frustrating right there. That the was a great seven. first ball. I don't know. Right cap wood, left cap wood. Right got to spin it. Yeah, you yeah. got you know, you to kick that piece of wood around. Some way. A little full. Full, yeah. You had to go to the other side. Well, let's see if he can pick this up. You want to give out pins. This could be down to three, three pins. Well, stays the same. Okay, four. Right, Dennis? After six, we got what? After six, Phil Clough's at 70. Steve Pizan at 61. Steve's still holding on to a four-pin lead. Four boxes left to go, guys, for the yep. king of the palace. People out there in viewing land. There's Phil Clough. Two, two veteran oh. bowlers going at it. And he leaves a disappointing six-pin yep. spare leave. Got to get the head pin, Dennis. Yes. Yeah, Got to oh, get yeah. the head pin. <clears throat> Oh, oh, oh. oh, right through the hoop. Oh. Don't want this. <laughs> Gonna come out of this way. What are you trying to say, Phil choked? No, I just. No. <laughs> tough time to throw an errant ball. Yeah, you yeah. Come right tough back. Tough box. Tough box. Very difficult. 
Again, I want to encourage everyone to come out to uh, Academy Lanes this year for the World Canopy Championships, November 11th. I believe it's like 8.30 or 9 o'clock in the morning. It's it, what, a, what a sight to witness. It is just unbelievable. The best bowls in the U.S. and Canada. Go yeah. Going head-to-head. Canadians, head. too, right? Canadians, yeah. It's not, not U.S. versus Canada. It's everyone versus everyone. Yeah. That is a misconception, but it's just phenomenal bowls. I kind of like USA versus Canada. That'd be one hell of a tournament. Nice, nice comeback for football. I'm actually going to see if I can't go get out there and uh, check it out. and I'm going to try to put a team in. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is for the King of the Palace. I don't know if I'll be the captain of that team. I might be the captain. I don't know if I'd be like... What a ball. Look at this. Oh, Five pin on, rocking and rolling. Look at this. Just kissed it. Oh, my goodness. You got to go right at it, man. Oh, yeah. You want to break yeah. this in half. Yep. Snap it. Snap it like a twig. Yep. There you go. Nice. All over like white on rice, kid. No, he wanted it. He got it. It's really going to put the pressure on now. Phil. The opposite of six blocks by Phil. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It's a Starlight 5. A what? A, a what? Starlight 5. What the hell is a Starlight 5? It's an East Boston uh, Central Park Lane's turn. Every time this is left, it's called the Starlight 5. Oh, oh my something god. Something else. That's a new one. It's not an old one. Okay, okay. If it's new, I'll take <laughs> your word for it, Dennis. If it's coming out of your mouth, it's got to be newer. <laughs> Starlight box five. to box. It sounds it sounds kind of like Starlight 5. Well, there was like a bowling alley in East Boston called Starlight Bowling uh, that closed down many years ago, and that's probably where they got it from. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Why did they pick those that? five pins? Because I guess that's where it was always left. Just like the, oh. the Caleri, the, he always leaves that. You hit the, the right, the, the double pinochle, the picket fence. Yep. You pull the right, the right side out with, right. by hitting the right. All right. Here we go. Phil Clough. Closing it out. Right. After eight, before the fill, Phil Clough's 86 plus a ball, and uh, Steve seven is on the 85. Fill. He's He's seven on the fill. He needs this mark. This is no doubt about it. Seven on the mark. fill. Steve's still Two, five eight, seven. Oh, oh, it went behind it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, Phil took a little bit off one. that ball, too, because he knew that he had that sleeper back there. Everybody watching intently and seeing what's going on here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, he just lost the pin because he hit the button. Oh, that could have been hurting him in the long run. He'll be kicking himself if he loses by a pin now. Oh, man. I've never seen Phil do that. Probably didn't see the pin rolling. He's probably a little frustrated. That's oh. one thing that you I've never seen Phil crack like that. Yeah, once you push the button, okay. everything's the, Neglate, everything's neg dead. Negated. Oh, I just wanted to go up there and tell him not to do it. Yeah, but years ago, Dennis, at least in duck pins, they called that a mental lever. They would, all right, he came back with the spit. They would give you that. No, nah, not in candle pin. Once you, no. once you hit that oh, button, yeah. it's over. Yep, that's too bad, man. The box is right. dead. It's still going to force pressure on the Steve. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He needs eight or nine. This is the key. Nine or ten. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is going to be very interesting. It's going to come down to the final two, depending upon the fill. Oh, he loaded that one up. Yeah, I threw a little yeah, extra yeah, mustard on that yeah, one. Yeah, he put a little extra mustard. <clears throat> All right, so he's got 25... What's he got? 120, 118? 118. Which means that uh, he needs 21 pins in two boxes, Steve. So he, he's he needs a mark. He needs yes. two marks. No. no. One would be sufficient. 21 no. pins in two boxes. Provided he gets, provided he gets a fill on one of them. Oh! Oh, I'm, oh well, one less for a spare. All right. All right. Well, here we go. This is what we wanted, guys. This is for the king of the palace. Right Who's down to the wire. The crown? Yeah, Who's he needs. Get it? He needs to get out out of this mess. Ooh. Ooh. No, nope, he's gonna make All sure right. he gets one out of two. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it, guys. People in viewing land. Steve's gonna kick himself in the in the, in the tail if he doesn't. Uh, it's gonna come mark down it, to the final he can, It's right at the right at his fingertips. It's right. only in his fate. Steve's up five, but he's up against a spare six, so he needs 21 pins. He's gotta throw a double. No, 11 pins. I'm sorry. 11. Yeah, he needs a, he needs a spare strike in the two field. Boom! Oh, oh, look oh at this, this is a favorable must... spare leave. It, this pin must look like it's a toothpick right about now to Steve. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's watch. People, let's watch. Nice pickup. He got it. He got it. The 
pressure was on, guys. Okay, let's see. He needs two quiet. pins. Two pins to win. Two pins to win. Let's just keep it quiet. Let's just hope. Uh, let's see what happens. Keep his composure. Don't throw this ball in the ocean. Two pins to be the king of the palace. To close it out. Are you Deep kidding me? Side. What a match. Get out of my house. He's the king of the palace. He's going to be walking down King Kimball king, king, Street. King, 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 I'm what? so excited, David. I, I forget Congratulations to the former, king of the, the palace. former king of the palace and current king of the palace, palace. Steve Pazan. What a shot. What a way to end it. That was clutch The new bowling. king of the palace. There he is. There he is, Steve. That was clutch bowling. Final score overall, Steve Pazan at 246, Phil Clough at 237. Steve wins by nine pins. Final box. Guys, he needed to spare. You talk about pressure bowling. That was the pressure. seven pin looking him in the eye. Must have felt like a toothpick. Throwing yeah, the golf ball, and he made it. Yeah, but you know what, though? I'm pretty sure Steve would have liked to have closed that out a lot earlier than wait until the very last box to do what he had to do. To yeah, I'm just thinking of the tough breaks that Phil Clough had to. Well, it evened out. They both. What's the final tab, Dennis? Phil Clough had four spares and one strike. Steve Pizant with five spares and two strikes. Great can of bowling. What we wanted, guys. Yep, two former champions yep. coming out. One to a crown one. Congratulations mm -hmm. to Steve Pizant on the next king of the, being the new king of the palace. Going down to the last box. New King of the Palace champion, Steve Passant. Great candle pin bowling, defeating Phil Clough in the last box. Congratulations, Steve Passant. What we wanted to see, right down to the wire, great candle pin bowling. Unbelievable. Now Steve is a two-time King of the Palace champion. Now let's get to the bonus ball spread eagle challenge. The King of the Pals, the Spread Eagle Challenge. Oh, wait. Held on to that a little too long. Up now, Phil Clough for the Spread Eagle Bonus Ball Challenge. See if Phil can't get some extra cash on this. Here we go. Oh, they both pick up the 10 pin. <laughs> so the drag pack grows a little more.